I got an email from George McCarris. So, what's going on? He obviously uh, called somebody and they wanted to talk to who's the guy who uh, controls the money at Moss Motors, you know, uh, as far as promotions are concerned. He kind of briefly explained what John was going to do and what they were looking for. And my initial reaction was, okay, these guys are, these guys are crazy. But the one thing that, uh, that again, it, it uh, resonated was the, the cause. So I did a little investigation after I got the email. I talked to Michael Grant. I asked him, I said, okay, who's George McHarris? And, you know, and do you know him? Because he says he's in the, the, the Healy Club down south. And Michael, yeah, yeah, we know him, blah, blah. Initially, I wasn't convinced that, um, you know, that anything much was going to come from the effort. But uh, in the end, we looked at it, and the cause was... Um, significant and was important. My wife uh, lost uh, her father to cancer about 10 years ago, and uh, so it's it's something that's near and dear to our heart. So um, we said, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get involved and and see what happens. And then uh, that was like on a Friday. Um, so as soon as I told George McCarris, yeah, we're we're in. So they had a big parts list of uh, stuff they thought they would need. Uh, that might break on the drive. I don't know, there must have been about 25 or 30 different items that they needed. And so I went to work and we, we had uh, about 95% of what they needed in stock. And uh, shortly after I got back to George with the information, I got an uh, email from John. Okay, when can I come get the stuff, you know? And so anyway, um, I told John to be here on the following Monday, uh, about 9.30. Well, about 8.15. <laughs> I get a, a call from the receptionist saying, John Nikas is here. I said, John Nikas, John Nikas, what, what? Oh, oh yeah, he's not supposed to be here because we don't, the reason I told John not to be here till after nine was we don't have anybody in the warehouse to pull the parts <laughs> until then. The warehouse guys don't show up till then. So anyway, so here he was, he drove all the way down from, from Los Angeles area. And uh, so anyway, here I go in the warehouse and got all the parts together, met John, talked to him. Um, and uh, he's a very, uh, a very endearing individual, you know, um, and you could see that he uh, had passion for what he was doing. So um, at that point, it was more of a, uh, this is something good for us to be involved in, irregardless of what happens. And then, of course, as we all know, the thing has just mushroomed into this thing that has a life of its own now. So that's, that's kind of how we got involved with it. I have been following following things from from afar. Uh, and it hadn't really caught on to the to the whole signature thing yet. So when I walked out and saw the car, um, it was very it was very moving, you know, just to see all these people that have come in contact with this this movement and this effort. And the thing that I that I th think I most respect about it, not once have I ever heard John put his hand out and say, "You need to give us money to this." He is and Grace are building awareness for it, and I think that's all that needs to happen, that people know what to do, you know. And uh, there's so many charities and organizations that are just in your face and just, you know, we need money, we need money, we need money. And uh, he's just out there just keeping this perpetual movement thing going, you know, and uh, um, I think it's a really classy way to go about it. I signed on behalf of uh, my wife, uh, my wife's uh, father, and then um, one of the things I do uh, on my own time is I'm in a band, and we play. We've we've done a lot of charity gigs, and um, about a month ago, we had been asked to play um, a charity um, a charity event for um, a guy in the San Diego Valley by the name of Jeremy Zandanati, who um, was battling with leukemia. And uh, at the time that we were asked to play the gig, uh, it was to raise money to, uh, to help him with his medical bills and, and to help him with his fight. Well, about a week before we did the gig, um, he passed away. So, um, so anyway, I signed on behalf of Jeremy, too. He's, he's right up front, just to the left of the grill. Uh, down on the bottom, he's got a good spot. It's uh, a pretty amazing sight just to spend time and read everything that's been written on the car and just realize that every signature, every writing on that car is about somebody's life or somebody or what have you. And it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty moving. John, I need your parts list. 
We've got those seats in stock. I don't want you to be uh, uncomfortable anymore driving the car, so <laughs> hurry up and give me that list. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. That's a good way to end it.